Hey guys, this is Sky. I got something kind of interesting. You probably saw this in the news a few times here and there, but you probably most likely didn't see any photos. Now, I don't know why the news is not using photos because it really excites the public. And uh, if the public can't see it, if they just read it, it's not as interesting. So here is the website. I just showed you the NASA website it came from. This is Sulfur. Sulfur is essential to human life and plays a several critical roles in our human body with amino acids and proteins, uh, enzymes, activity, detoxification, uh, joint health, skin, hair, and nails, metabolism. It's just one of the things essential for life. So going to Mars, this sulfur, these sulfur crystals are important, very important. And it's just actually quite beautiful isn't it look at those yellow crystals yellow green now sulfur is important for other things besides just um uh human body it's also important for uh old rocket fuel styles or old rocket fuel types and explosives and such medicines whoa there we go okay and i'm going to show you another crystal <clears throat> this one is sulfur, but I'm going to show you another one. Here it is on the NASA website, and they call it rock with leopard spots. Now, I don't know why they do that, because it's not just a rock, and it's not just leopard spots. It is absolutely amazing. Do you see the crystals there? Olivine. Olivine. Okay, olivine is very, very complex crystal, often found in around the Earth's core and other areas of uh, inner parts of planets and moons and such so it, it's really really beautiful it's a great crystal it's kind of expensive um, a one carat crystal cut and, and cleaned up is probably close to two or three hundred dollars I got a piece that's not cut that's about um, uh, 10 carats which cost me about uh, three hundred dollars too However, look at these spots. This is with AI. I cleaned it up with AI really fast. And these leopard spots, they call them, those look like fossils. Those look like fossils, uh, maybe mixed with some crystals. And did you see the crystals over there? Just mind-boggling. I mean, they're beautiful, the olivine crystals. However, they're not the normal greenish, yellow-greenish color they're supposed to be. Um, I guess these crystals are kind of clearish color we see that the crystal there i've never seen olivine that's not uh, a greenish yellow uh, this one's white now if they're correct about olivine then there's another crystal besides olivine here what is it what is it that's with it because it's just incredibly beautiful almost like white jade now look at these spots it's like a, a writing it's like an artwork like some kind of um uh, sketch or something into the stone it could be fossils mixed with um, crystals look at that look at that is that beautiful look at the detail now that, that is olivine that is the right color almost almost uh, there's slightly different tints of it yellowish to green and that is it that is it what are these little shiny purple red spots all over the place I don't know I don't know. I think those are smaller jewels and gems, whatever they could be. Uh, see the orange one down there? See the orange one right there? There are a lot of these things, and it's not a glitch in the photo. It's actually just so shiny, it comes out that way. Look at that. That is just amazing, these crystals. You'll never see this in world news. They never, they'll sh show it? No, they won't show it. They don't want you to get excited about it. They will talk about it, but they'll never show it. So this is the first time I've ever shown crystals to anyone on Mars uh, to the public. So I thought it was kind of important. I thought you might be interested. Hey, guys, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll make more interesting videos for you. Sorry, this one's not about a UFO. However... The geology of Mars is kind of important if we're going to be living there very soon. Have a good one.